Hello, my name is Vivian Shen, and I'll be presenting mouth haptics in VR using a headset ultrasound phased array. This is work done with Craig Schultz and Chris Harrison as part of the Future Interfaces group. Rendering haptics to the body is an open challenge. The mouth is of particular interest to us, as it is second in terms of tactile sensitivity to the fingertips. We wanted to take advantage of this unique opportunity to add fine-grained haptic effects to a head-mounted virtual reality device. Rendering haptics on the mouth has also been difficult to accomplish in a practical and consumer-friendly manner. Here's a video of four systems from prior research that utilize a wide variety of sensors and motors to create visio-haptic VR mouth experiences. In this research, we iteratively developed a new way to achieve haptics on the mouth using a thin, compact, beam-forming array of ultrasound transducers to focus acoustic energy onto the mouth. Here we have depicted our first prototype our proof of concept work that was used in our studies and our future work. We also developed a software simulator in Unity to be able to manually focus the beam in space. Here, the red bar represents where the average person's lips would be relative to the transducer array depicted as the 64 colored spheres. The black sphere represents the focus node, and as we move it through space using the arrow keys, the transducer spheres change color according to the phase offset that they are in. We explored several effects, including single impulse, impulse trains, swipes in the X, Y, and Z directions, and persistent vibrations. Our haptic sensations can be felt in the lips, the teeth, and the tongue. Here's a table depicting the six animation types that we defined, seen here being animated on the lips. We conducted a psychophysiological perception study that consisted of modulating, modulating the amplitude of a single impulse animation and asking if the user could still feel the node. We ran eight users through this study. To find the threshold of de detection, we utilized the double staircase method as illustrated here. This is an example of the staircases pulled from one of the participants of our study. Here we have depicted the varying thresholds measured from the perception study. The staircases were repeated at different modulation frequencies on the lips, teeth, and tongue. For the lips and teeth, the detection threshold was lowest at 50 Hz, meaning that our ultrasound phased array had the strongest effect at 50 Hz at those two locations. On the tongue, the effect was strongest at 100 Hz. We also conducted a spatial acuity study where we played two spaced apart 500 millisecond impulses, also at the lips, teeth, and tongue. We found that there was essentially zero spatial acuity on the teeth and tongue, as there were zero converged staircases. On the lips, the staircases converged around 9 millimeters, meaning that users could distinguish nodes that were at least 9 millimeters apart. We also conducted a user experience study by running users through three different scenarios with 12 interactions using our six animations. We played each interaction twice for the user, once with mouth haptics and once without, and we ran eight users through this study. I will be going through every interaction now. First, we have the user starting off in a haunted forest scenario. As the user walks through the spider webs, they feel an X swipe animated on their lips, as if the web was being dragged off of their face. In a small clearing, a spider jumps on their mouth, which manifests as random X and Y swipes to the left of the mouth. This simulates the spider scurrying around on the user's face. The user then uses a flare gun to shoot a spider on a rock. When the spider explodes into goo, the user feels random impulses on the lips. Finally, the user is forced to walk through dripping spider venom, which manifests as Y swipes on the li lips. In the next scenario, the user is placed in a school. As they lean down to take a sip from the water fountain, they feel rapid, random impulses simulating the water hitting their lips. In the school break room, the user sips from a mug and feels the liquid entering their mouth as Z-swipe animations. They also take a smoke from a cigarette, which is animated as a persistent vibration node wherever the cigarette meets the lips.
Finally, they brush their teeth after the break. As the user uses the toothbrush, they feel back and forth X swipe animations on their teeth. In the final scenario, the user races down the road in a motorcycle. They feel wind being animated on their lips as two X swipes moving in opposite directions. The user comes across some boxes on the track. As they run into and break these boxes, they feel a piece of the box hitting their lips as a short, persistent vibration. It begins to rain, which manifests as slow, random impulses on the user's lips, as if the raindrops were hitting their face. In the final interaction, the rain has left puddles on the track. When the user runs through these puddles, they feel rapid random impulses on their lips to simulate the splash of the puddle hitting their face. After each interaction was played twice, we had the user answer a Likert scale survey about the experience. Here are the results of the intertrial survey. As depicted in the bar graph, with mouth feedback dominated every category of realism, localization, tactility, reaction, immersion, and visual haptic match for every interaction. We also had the user fill out two more Likert scale surveys after they had finished the study. In the first of these surveys, we asked them to rate the realism, immersion, and fun of the no mouth and with mouth, with mouth feedback interactions, and then asked them to rate their preference. With mouth feedback one in every category, and zero users preferred no mouth feedback. In the second post-study survey, we utilized questions regarding the 22 dimensions of haptic experiences to measure the autotelic, expressivity, immersion, realism, and harmony of the visuo-haptic effects. Here are the scores across all categories for the ultrasound haptic feedback device. Thank you for coming to my presentation. I will now take questions.